This message is for the following entities. The Governor's Office, the Vermont National Guard, Red Cross, Regional and Local Volunteer Groups, Vermont Department of Public Safety, Regional Veterinary Clinics, Local Business Leaders, the ASPCA, the Burlington Mayor's Office, and all agencies that fall under them. Franklin County officials, Orleans, Essex, Grand Isle, Lamoille, Chittenden, Washington, and Caledonia County as well. This subject is strategic recovery plan and the current emergency status. The storm is over. Unfortunately, there is much work to be done. Over 400,000 people in the area still need to be reconnected to power. Hundreds of transformers and thousands of miles of power lines have to be replaced in order to make that happen. Even in the Burlington and Chittenden areas alone, over 60,000 households are still without power. There are still miles of roads, both primary and secondary, that need to be cleared. Trees and fallen power lines are obstructing the roads and railways and slowing the effort to clear the ice and snow. Both the Burlington Airport and the ferry system are both operating on a limited capacity. For those citizens without power, there is a high risk of hypothermia and carbon monoxide poisoning. All first responder agencies must be prepared for these emergencies. Those citizens that are evacuated to the shelters are at increased risk of assault, robberies, drug dealing, prostitution, and violence. All law enforcement agencies will provide additional uniform officers to maintain order in these shelters. Provide alternate forms of communication for those citizens that wish to report crimes but remain anonymous. Velco, along with the support of neighboring utility companies, are working around the clock to restore power. Our road crews are being supported by state crews to assist in the cleanup and are cleaning up miles of streets every day. Additional runways and waterways are being cleared to allow for additional transportation via these methods. Finally, the shelters need to be a refuge, a safe community for families. Together, every organization will ensure a safe environment for all those harboring in the shelters. We know our volunteers are tired and on occasion limited in direction. The Emergency Operations Center is coordinating additional volunteers and state logistical support are arriving daily and we are assigning key leadership to ensure every volunteer is utilized to the greatest effect. While roads are still an issue, we are coordinating with the National Guard to make sure that immediate needs arrive to where it's needed most. This includes generators, fuel, blankets, salt, and canned food. Keep in mind that while we are providing the full force of resources toward our short-term needs, we have not forgotten the medium and long-term concerns that this community deserves as well. A strategic recovery plan will be provided shortly to all cooperating organizations. In the meantime, all law enforcement must do their very best to maintain order and minimize crime. All cooperating agencies are to report price gouging and it will be addressed and those responsible will be prosecuted. Those agencies providing aid in the form of financial support, please provide contact numbers and support representatives at the shelters and in common areas to reach out to the families that need it most. All companies that would consider firing or withholding services for those without readily available cash, I urge them to read the mutual aid agreement published recently. The state will support those that support others and prosecute those that wish to profit on people's suffering. The Regional Emergency Coordination Office will continue to give you regular updates to include government response and efforts, contact information for all local aid, or aid organizations, and additional weather-related issues. In the meantime, please continue to coordinate via phone or email with the REC at contact points found at the top at our website for any additional questions or concerns. In the meantime, stay safe.